Hi everyone, Will here. I know it's been a long time since I posted one of my delicious recipes, but where I'm from they say it's never too late for breakfast. Today I'm going to show you how to make a scrumptious and hearty breakfast to brighten your morning. It's the three hot dog omelet, or as I like to call it, three pigs in an egg blanket. Let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at our ingredients. Now I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, you have to crack a few eggs to make an omelet. Well, that used to be true, but today we're going to prove that wrong. There's a great company called Egg Beaters, and they've taken all of the shells out of making eggs. Basically, this is a carton of the stuff inside of eggs, which is pretty excellent if you ask me. Did that joke make you crack up? <laughs> Alright, so obviously that takes care of our eggs, and we're going to need our hot dogs as well. If you read my blog, you know that I always go with the kosher Hebrew National hot dogs, and you can find these in most supermarkets, along with the Egg Beaters. Alright, those are the two ingredients. Let's make an omelet. A lot of people are intimidated by omelets because you have to turn eggs, a sort of liquid, into a solid. I'll admit they're a little bit trickier than a lot of the stuff we make here, but with a little bit of effort, you can do this too. We're going to be making our omelet in this pan. Now, it's important to use a non-stick pan because as anyone who's touched the stuff inside of eggs can tell you, it can be awfully sticky. But even though we're using a non-stick pan, it's important to grease it when we make eggs. Now, some people like to use butter for this. Personally, I like to use Pam, which is a spray that makes sure that nothing sticks to your pan. I guess they call it Pam because it kind of sounds like Pam. Once you've greased your pan, you can turn on the stove to a medium-ish heat. Now it's time to pour in the eggs. Take your egg beaters and pour a small layer into the pan. Now you only need a pretty thin layer of eggs. You know that saying about the thinnest layer of an onion? Well, it also applies here. This omelet is on its way. We actually don't want to touch it for a few more minutes. If we do, we might scramble the eggs, and that's not what we're going for today. Tend to it a bit by pushing the sides in while it cooks. While we have this going, we'll get our hot dogs ready. If we make them now, they'll be warm when we put them in the omelet. Put your hot dogs in the microwave. You can do them all together. I usually go about one minute per hot dog, so we'll do three minutes. Keep attending to your omelet. The bottom is going to cook first since it's touching the hot pan, so try to move the runny part underneath so that the eggs cook evenly. When the hot dogs are done, take them out of the microwave. Some people like to cut up the hot dogs when they put them in the omelet, but to really give this my signature three pigs in an egg blanket look, I'll put them in the omelet as they are. We call the hot dogs pigs because they're often made from pigs, but today since we're using kosher hot dogs, these are made from cows or beef. I guess you could call this particular omelet three cows in an egg blanket. The hardest part is to actually close up the omelet, but take your spatula or egg tool and carefully slide it under one side, then just flop it over. This can take a lot of practice for some people, but I got it on my first try, and maybe you can too. That's it, that's the three hot dog omelet. Of course, you can try the same recipe with just one hot dog for a tasty midnight snack, or you can try adding hot dogs to share with your friends. Me, I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And this would be a great one to garnish with a few nuts and some parsley. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And remember, don't be afraid to try things in the kitchen. Bon appetit. Eat up, see how much you like it. Yeah.